Hello students, let's learn successive magnification method. In previous sessions, we discussed representation of rational numbers and irrational numbers on the number line. To locate a decimal point, we will use a magnifying glass. Such method is known as successive magnification method. Let's understand this by solving following examples. Students, let's discuss one simple question first that is represent 2.4 on the number line. To save the time, I have drawn the number line. As part of step 1, we will draw the number line and represent numbers on the number line. As you know, the midpoint indicates 0 and positive numbers on the right hand side and negative numbers on the left hand side. In step 2, we will identify where the given number lies. In this particular case, 2.4 lies between 2 and 3. So, let's focus the portion between 2 and 3. That is, we will divide this portion into 10 equal parts. 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, it's 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2 2.8, 2.9. This indicates 3. And here it is 2. Now, the question is we have to locate 2.4. Now, locate 2.4 on the number line. Students, let's look into the second question. Locate 3.765 on number line. So, to save the time, I have drawn the number line. Let's discuss how we can draw this. So, first step is drawing a number line and representing numbers on that. From the question, we can understand that the number lies between 3 and 4. So, let's focus the portion between 3 and 4. As part of step 2, let's divide the portion between 3 and 4 into 10 equal parts. That is 3.1, 3.2, 3.3 .3, and so on 3.9. So, if you observe the first digit after the decimal point, it is 3.7. That means we have to focus the portion between 3.7 and 3.8. So, let's divide into 10 equal parts that is 3.71, 3.72 and so on 3.79. Now, let's look into the second digit after the decimal point that is 3.76. So, in step 4, we'll take the portion between 3.76 and 3.77 and let's divide into 10 equal parts that is 761, 762, 763, 764 and so on like this till 3.769. So, that is 3.7612, 3.769. So, from this we can locate 3.765 on number line. Students, let's look into the third question. Visualize 4.26 bar on the number line up to 4 decimal places. From the question, we can understand that it is a recurring decimal. To reduce the time, I have drawn this number line. Let's discuss how we can represent this on the number line. So, in step 1, we will draw the number line and we will represent the numbers. So, from the question, we can understand that it lies between it lies between 4 and 5. So, let's mark the portion between 4 and 5. In step 2, we will take 10 divisions between 4 and 5. That is 4.1, 4.2 and so on till 4.9. Like this, we will take 10 divisions between 4 and 5. So, from the first digit, we can understand that it is between 4.2 and 4.3. So, we will take 10 divisions between 4.2 and 4.3. That is 4.21, 4.22, 4.23 so on. Let us mark that 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. So, the second digit after the decimal point is 6. That indicates that we have to focus between 4.26 and 4.27. So, in step 4, 
we will focus between 4.26 and 4.27 that's dividing into 10 equal parts that is 4.261 4.262 and so on 4.269 from the third digit we can understand that it is 262 that means we have to take the portion between 4.262 and 4.263 so in step 5 we will divide into the region between 4.262 and 4.263 into 10 equal parts that is going to be 4.2621, 4.2622 and so on 4.2629. So from this we can locate 4.2626 on number line. Students, I hope this is very much clear for you. In next session we will discuss different operations on real numbers. Thank you for listening.